Hi guys, it's Tyler here again, and this is Rolling the Wave. So today, just like I have had planned for, well, since last month, I'm going to do a little, um, what I read and watched this month. Still unaware of what the title's going to be, but prepare for a quite lengthy video because it's no lie that I have, this month I have focused on TV and movies more than my reading. So I managed to read three books this month, but... Let's just get started. I'm going to start with my TV shows, then do the books, and then do the movies. I'm also going to do a video. I'm probably going to upload it, not next week, because I have something planned for next week. But maybe halfway through the week, I'm going to upload a video of everything that I am watching TV shows. So look out for that, and it's going to be good, because I watch a lot of TV shows. The second TV show I watched this month was Nailed It. It was so fun to watch. It was one of those things where the episodes weren't really long and there wasn't many episodes, but now I'm feeling like I want more episodes because it was that good. Basically, what they did is there's three people and um, that every episode they have to make a different cake, for example. And it was just amazing. So at the end of the day, um, once I finished it, I rated it three out of five stars because it wasn't the best and I did watch it. Like with the expectation that, oh, this looks really, really cool. So then when it happened, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah it's all right. So I gave it a three out of five stars. Next, I watched Kiss Me First, which airs on Channel 4. And it basically follows this girl who um, does this virtual reality gaming thing. And she meets up with this group of, this small group of people. and But this group of people aren't the best group of people. There's a horrible ringleader and she's just trying to stop him from doing all this horrible stuff to them. So I rated this 4 out of 5 stars because when it comes to TV shows, I'm like very picky kind of. Like I watch a lot of TV shows but I feel like in order to get a 5 out of 5 it has to be freaking amazing and it has to be something that I'm really, really into. Next is Supernatural Series 13 and oh my god, this series Definitely done one better than series 12. Um, I, I did like series 12, but this series has just hit me right in the feels. Bringing back some characters that you haven't seen in a long time. And it's just got me really emotional. And I'm loving the whole storyline thing. Um, I don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil the series. Unless, like, for people that haven't watched it. But it is amazing. And I did rate it a 4 out of 5 stars like the previous one. So, the next one is... The series 5 premiere of The 100. I don't even know what to say. It was so, so amazing. Like, it feels like I've been waiting forever for series 5 to come out. I think that The 100 is the only TV show that I've watched from the very beginning, from when it first aired on TV. And it is absolutely amazing. The whole storyline, the whole flash forwards and flashbacks. Like, oh my god, I would highly recommend it. And the reason I say I'd highly recommend it is because I rated it a... from the Vampire Diaries came into the premiere and I feel like that was amazing and plus there's a big time jump which kind of made me feel a little uncomfortable. The last show I watched in April, is it April? yeah it's April and I also rated 5 out of 5 stars was Lost in Space. The TV show series, the new TV series that is on Netflix, it is absolutely amazing. I put it off for like a few weeks thinking, eh, it's, I don't want to ruin the movie because, you know, I love the movie. And I thought, this is just going to be a let, let down. But I was bored, I didn't have anything to watch. So I just thought, yeah, yeah, let's pop it on. And it was so freaking amazing. I'm not finished yet, I'm like halfway through the series on Netflix. 
but so far it's amazing. I'm looking at reviews on TV Showtime, and every episode has like a 9.5 star review out of 10. So I'm like, this is really good, and I actually enjoying it so much. I love all the characters. So now for the book that I read this month. As I said, I have only read three because I have focused more on my TV and movies. But the three books that I have read, they're all right. So the first book that I read was Coral and Bone by Tiffany Dune. Um, I did like this book. I think I have done a review, maybe. I don't know. I think I did like a little mini review in one of my previous videos. So I'll probably link that in the description or in the end of the video. But yeah, it was a really good book. I really loved the plot line. And it did hit me right in the feels. Right in the feels. Right in the feels. That's going to be my new thing, you know. Right in the feels. The second book I read this month was Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I loved it so much. Um, I did do a video of this. Um, I think it was last week's video. Yeah, it was last week's video. I read it in 48 hours. The book was absolutely amazing. I could not put it down. So I would highly recommend going out and reading it. Personally, I love John Green, so obviously I'm going to love every book that he writes. And the third and final book that I read this month is Where She Went, a sequel to If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And honestly, the book, a little bit of a lap down from If I Stay. Like I think the whole changing point of views kind of did that for me. But it's still a really good book. Basically, it follows Adam and Mia... Um, after the events of the first book, Mia leaves and basically just never texts him again. So he gets to the point like, oh, are we over? So I guess we're over. But then they meet back up, they bump into each other and it goes really cute. And yeah, it's really good. I really think you should read it. I rated this one a 3 out of 5 stars. I rated Turtles All The Way Down a 5 out of 5 stars. And Coral and Bowen I rated a 4 out of 5 stars. Now for the movies. Who doesn't love movies? Let's be honest, if you don't enjoy watching a good movie every now and again, you are not human. So in total this month I watched 10 movies. 10 movies, some good, some eh. But I feel like I can't be the one to hate on a movie for anything because the movie producers and everything put so much effort into the movie, so much money and time that I feel like if I give it like a terrible review that um, I kind of feel bad about it because, you know, it took so much time out of their life. But then again, if it's a terrible movie, I'm going to rate it a terrible number, a terrible score. So the first movie I watched this month was The Cloverfield Paradox, the third movie, I believe, in the Cloverfield franchise. It was okay. Okay. I mean, storyline was a bit, like, confusing, but it was okay. But... Then I did only rate it a two out of five stars, so it couldn't have been that good. Next, one of my least favorite movies that I watched this month, or maybe even ever, because it was a real disappointment. Because apparently they put so much money and time into this movie, and me watching it, I was like, huh, yeah, cool. Which and I rated it two out of five stars, same as the previous one, because it, originally it was a one out of five stars, but then I felt bad. <laughs> So I pushed it up one score, which is Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. It was absolutely dreadful in my opinion, but... Five out of five stars, which is, and I think you can already guess it, is Love, Simon. I loved Love, Simon so much. It's so funny. There's some jokes. There's emotional parts. And the whole situation, I just related, like, a kind of low-key related with the entire movie. And if you haven't watched it yet, I suggest you go out and watch it because you will not be disappointed. Next is one of the scary movies I watched this month. Ooh. Which was The Insidious, The Last Key, which I know has been out for a while, but honestly, I've only just got around to watching it because it's a horror movie. And I don't like watching horror movies on my own. I mean, I love horror movies, and if it's in the day, I'll watch it. But at night, it's got to be with someone. I'm telling you, I loved it so much, and I love the ending, how it opens up for a next movie. And I know they are going to open a next movie, I think. I think I read somewhere that they're going to do a, a 
is it, what is it, fourth? This was the fourth. They're going to make a fifth movie. I rated that a four out of five stars because it is a good movie and I think you should watch that too. The sixth movie I watched this month and was a... <laughs> it was hilarious, let's be honest. It was Deep Blue Sea 2. Like, the first one wasn't the best, but this one, it's literally like a remake. So I don't know why they added the two. They might as well just like put Deep Blue Sea regular and just normal. And then just classified it as a remake. But it was so freaking annoying. Like, the parts were like, oh yeah, this is alright. But then, they're bull sharks, okay? They're bull sharks. I did my research. I do, I do biology in college. Bull sharks have like three babies maximum. And this bitch ass bull shark in this movie has like 30 children. 30. And they're like, like what? Did these people not do their research before making a movie or writing it in the script? Like, come on. It's just so annoying. I rated it two out of five stars. Well, really, I should probably bunk it down to a one out of five stars because it was just so freaking hilarious. If it wasn't funny and all like cringy, then it would definitely be a one out of five stars. Second movie I watched, second five star movie I watched, I apologise, is Coco, Disney movie. Disney, amazing. If you don't know, I love Disney. I have a little Disney poster up there and Coco is on there. Um, I made this poster myself, put Coco on there before I even watched Coco, but oh my god. God, it was so good. It was so emotional. And I don't even know where to begin. I don't even know if I want to talk about it because it's just so amazing. And I want you guys to experience it all for yourself without a spoiler at all. But it was amazing. It's a five out of five stars. Go and watch it. It's so bloody emotional. The third and final movie that I rated five out of five stars is A Quiet Place. And this movie was actually amazing. When I first started, when I first put it on, I was like, eh, it's just going to be another one of these regular monster alien movies but oh my god it was actually really good i love the storyline i love the um commitment to save their whole, own children there were some losses like it was just so amazing and i really think you need to watch it okay guys two movies left we can do this another netflix movie that i watched this month was dude starring alexandra ship and lucy hale um i feel like this movie didn't really have as much of a storyline like, I understand that she's upset because they're all going to graduate and leave each other. But the storyline didn't really do it for me, so I rated it a 3 out of 5 stars. And the last and final movie that I watched this month was Kiss and Cry, which is also on Netflix. Which basically follows, um, it's a true story about this girl who gets this very rare cancer. And she's dating this guy and it just goes through all this stuff that she's been going through. And how she feels inside and... It was just a really emotional, heartfelt movie. I did rate it a 4 out of 5 stars. Just because the ending like hit me right in the gut. And I was like, you can't do this to me. Well, that was everything that I watched and read in April. I hope you're still here and I hope you liked the video. Um, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell to know when I upload next. So that is literally everything that I have to say. So now I'm going to go and edit this video. Because it is Sunday and it has to be up today. Probably won't be up till like 2am tomorrow. Because of how slow my processing services are. But we'll get that done. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.